the whole rock and rock wrestling thing. So you were you were there before it. You were there during. Oh yeah, the, Cindy Lauper. Yeah, Cindy Lauper. Oh yeah, Cindy Lauper loved Lou Albano. <laughs> I met Joe Pisco through Lou Albano. I met Danny DeVito through Lou Albano. Danny DeVito said to me that Lou Albano is the funniest person he's ever met in his life. That's what he told me. Coming from him, that means a lot. <laughs> but he he was a character. He liked to drink. He had rubber bands in his in his uh, cheeks. But a hell of a guy. I mean, I even posted a picture with me and him somewhere. I don't even remember, but I I, I found a picture with me with me and him in a hallway somewhere. The uh, one of the questions I was going to ask you was uh, a uh, weird or funny specific Captain Lou Albano drinking story. Well, Lou Albano, I could tell you when easily tell you when he wasn't drinking more than when he was drinking because he drank more than he didn't drink. But the, Andre was a big drinker. Andre was a big drinker. Andre, if he liked you, he would he would treat you well. If he didn't like you, he would have to speak to you. He won't even talk to you. He liked me. He had me drive him around for quite some time, you know, maybe two months or a month because Tim White took the job over. And uh, he says, boss, where you live? I said, I said, I'm right, right here from Brooklyn, Andre. Your, your parents still there? My, my father passed. My mother still lives there. And take me. That's what he said. So I called my mother up. And uh, I think it was Andre had this, those big white phones because there was no cell phones back then. I said, listen, I'm bringing a wrestler by the house. He goes, who? I says, you won't know him. Just some guy that just started. So I pull up to the house. My mother, it's a second story house. My mother's looking out the top window. She sees me. I come out of the driver's seat. Then all of a sudden, the passenger seat opens, and this big monster comes out. All I hear is my mother is, oh, my God. The whole neighborhood went. He was as big as Hulk Hogan in his prime back then. And he was the, the nicest guy. I went to his restaurant in Montreal, and he, uh, I said, this is great, Andre. This is really going to be a success, boss. Money and the booze, not the food. He was just that kind of, and you know what he did for me one time? Yeah. I was in a battle royal, and uh, he threw me in for a short foot. You know, like, you just throw you in, put his foot up, I, took, I take the ball. He dives on me. I said, holy shit, he's going to kill me. Every wrestler dove on top of him. But he, like, he kept his elbows protecting me, and he whispered in my ear, boss, I have you. And he took care of me. He took care of me. The other guys were trying to hurt me. You know, not hurt me kill me but it would have killed me if they put all that legitimate weight on me i would i would never been able to breathe but andre saved me there he really did <laughs> do you remember any of the time uh, any of the people who he wasn't so charitable and, and kind to in the ring oh but if i say that that's going to be bad blood but uh a lot of a lot of the young boys you know back then that were cocky he didn't like loud ones like he didn't, i don't think he was crazy i don't know i don't even really want to say it because you interviewed him you're going to say oh i heard you didn't like this person andre didn't like you you know, I, I put that in the negatory, negatory state. Okay. Uh, well, I, I know a couple of names, like uh, I think Iron Sheik he sat on and stuff like that. I, oh, I only know that name. He didn't like drugs. No. He didn't like And Sheik, oh, baby, I took A to Z and everything. <laughs> I took this. But meanwhile, Nikolai never did a drug in his life, never did anything. He needed a simple procedure called a stent, which he had no health insurance. That's what Sarge told me. So Slaughter told me that. And he said, I'll go cure it with herbs. He goes home, starts taking herbs. Two days later, he's dead. And this is a guy that never did anything. She's still kicking. You know, he's in a wheelchair, but he's, you know, he did. He abused his life more than she. He was the greatest roommate in the world, Nikolai. He had a hot plate. You, we, we'd go in the room, we'd share a room. He would cook me steaks. And he would, he would, just, he would love doing that. He just loved cooking. And you know, if you if you stick with Nikolai, you're going to save a lot of money, and you're going to get good meals too. Yeah, I know that he bought one suit and then stuck with it for the rest of his life, as far as I can tell. It looked it looks that way to me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, going back onto Andre the Giant, and I love I love the the sort of fight stories, and you know when he put some people in their place who caught to him in a bar and stuff like that. Were you ever with him yeah. uh, in any of those uh, instances? I was in. A, I, do you remember Eddie Gilbert? I do. One day I wrestled Eddie Gilbert, and I screwed it up. He he called a, a leapfrog. I, I went for the leapfrog, and he wanted the leapfrog me. So we look like two imbeciles in the middle leapfrogging each other. So he comes back to the dressing room, and he starts he starts yelling at me, cursing me out, and this and that, and this and that. Andre's just staying quiet. He didn't like Eddie. 
He liked me. And then uh, the following day, we go to another town. There's a knock on the dressing room door. All the boys are in there. There's a, 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 somebody with a birthday cake. I can't even remember who it was. Oh, it's Eddie Gilbert's birthday today. Can you please give this to him? Can I meet him? I'll go bring it to him. So me, knowing what happened two days ago, I walked up to him and said, they told me to give this to you, Eddie. I threw the cake in his face. <laughs> he got up to fight. Andre said, boss, sit. You deserve. <laughs> like, holy shit. I, I was like, oh, my God. Hey, you know, and it, right away, Andre saved you know, he saved my, well, I, I could have, I could have held my own with him, but he, Andre, when he says that, you don't move. 